Hello chess family, it's me, National Master Jesse James, and today we're going to be learning about how to play the fried liver attack. In this game in particular, well, white is being played by one of my favorite chess players, Paul Morphy, and he plays a whole rook down and is still able to win with this very great and, well, very fun attacking opening. Let's get to it, here we go. Well, we're going to take a look at a game with Paul Morphy playing against his father, Alonzo Morphy, that shows how strong this is. How strong is it? Well, Paul Morphy actually played a whole rook down. That's right, a whole piece down, and was still able to uh, obliterate his opponent, his father. And, uh, well, let's go and take a look and see how to play this opening. Here we go. We start off with pawn to e4. This is a king's pawn opening. Pawn to e5, one of the best ways to play. Knight f3 develops and attacks the e5 pawn. Knight c6 defends. And we're going to go ahead and play bishop c4. The fried liver actually starts off in the Italian opening. And here, black goes ahead and plays knight to f6, which is the two knights defense. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and try to play the fried liver attack with knight to g5. And this is known as the knight attack. What's the idea? It's very simple here. To, uh, here we are attacking on f7 twice with the bishop and the knight. And, well, if your opponent doesn't know this opening, they can get into a lot of trouble right here. I mean, there is only one way to actually defend this pawn, at least good, in this position. A lot of beginners, you'll see, will play something like queen e7. And here you're very happy you just play bishop takes an f7 check. Unless they want to trade the queen for a knight and a bishop, it's just not going to be any good. But if they do know the theory here, they're going to play the best move. And uh, do you know what that is? Hopefully you do. Here, uh, Black's best and only good move is to go ahead and play pawn to d5 here. There was no good way to defend the f7 point, but the best we can do is actually block it. And so after pawn to d5 gets played, white goes ahead and plays. Pawn takes on d5 here. And here, this is where if you don't know the theory, then you're going to get into lots of trouble here. Now, there's three main moves here, at least the ones that I know of, that you can play here. One of, them, one of them is to play knight to a5, which I think is definitely one of the best ways to play here. This is known as the plurial defense. You can also play knight to d4 here too. Eh, it's a move to play. I won't say it's the best, but it's it's definitely another way to play. Definitely not very uh, popular, at least um, from what I've seen. And here, one of my favorite moves to play is actually pawn to b5 here, one of my secret weapons here. And here, if white does play bishop takes on b5, we have queen takes on d5 here. And well, the, the game is actually quite fun here. With that being said, we're going to take a look at black playing the worst move here, which is knight takes on d5 here, double question mark. And now white gets to play that very fun idea, the fried liver attack. What do you play here? If you ever want to get a double x exclam in your game, at least with chess.com telling you, this is one of the moves you can play. Here you get to play knight takes on f7, double x exclam right here. And uh, here you guys are thinking, well, what's going on right here? Why would you take on f7 as the king can just take? Well, this is part of the idea. Well, at this point, black has nothing better than to go ahead and take the knight. Because, well, if they don't, the knight is just forking the queen and the rook right here. So the king goes ahead and takes on f7 here. And what was the idea here? Develop with the threat. After this, this is the fried liver attack uh, after king takes on f7 basically after knight takes on f7 but king takes on f7 always because well again you're just losing and so here now the theory goes and white just gets really good attacking chances i'll be going over some other ideas but here is a very nice game showing the attacking potential remember you're down a whole rook here you sacrifice another piece and now you get this very cool attacking idea all right what do you play here let's develop with the threat it's white to move the best move here is with the queen what do you play I think I hear someone say it. It was queen to f3 check here, attacking the king and also the knight here on d5. And black really has no good chances here or no good moves. He must go ahead and play king to e6. And if your king is in the middle of the board in the middle game, something definitely went wrong, right? So, well, I mean, let's uh, we can take a look at some other ideas if we want to, but there really is nothing better to do. If you bring your king back to e8, white just has a very strong move. A bishop takes on d5 here, and here we have a very strong double attack of queen to f7 for checkmate, and also taking over here on c6. Okay, that's why black just goes ahead and plays king to e6 here, and now, well, what do you do with pins? We see that the bishop is pinning this knight over here. We're going to go ahead and apply pressure or pile pieces on the pin piece here. So what do you play here as white? Let's keep developing our pieces. Let's keep adding pressure. Here the very nice and easy move here is to play knight to c3. Here now we have one, two, three attackers here on d5, and black only has two. In this game, we're going to take a look at a bad move that black plays. There's much better defenses here. But again, this is just a demonstration game showing the power of the fried liver. Because, well, if black doesn't steady it, they can get lost very fast. 
Black goes ahead and plays knight to d4. Now, some other good moves that you can try here is knight to e7. And this is definitely one of the best moves, in my opinion, to play here. I've also seen another idea, which was knight to b4. Eh, I won't say this is the best, but it is a pretty interesting move. Typically, there is a rook here on a1. So the idea of knight b4 is not only to defend the knight, but also threaten knight takes on c2 check. And one of the big ideas of moving the knight just in general is that black can then play pawn c6 next to defend the knight. Again, thematically or uh, theoretically speaking, black should be better here because they're up a whole extra piece uh, minus the rook here because most people are going to have the rook. But because of the king's vulnerability or just being out in the center, well, just good attacking chances. Anyways, let's go back to the game. In the game, black played the wah wah knight to d4 here, and now it was white to move and win. What do you play here? Remember, always use those force moves, checks, captures, and threats. Here we got to play. Bishop takes on d5 check. Remember, we don't want to take with the queen here, as we don't want to trade off queens, because black would be happy to trade. And of course, we're not going to take with the knight here, because knight takes on f3 check. So, back uh, after this, bishop takes d5 check. King goes to d6, and here a very nice move here, and actually the top choice by the computer is queen to f7, and already here we are threatening checkmate in one move. Do you see it? Here, if black is not paying attention, let's just say they go ahead and play, I don't know, pawn to c6 here, it looks like it's a good move, it's attacking the bishop, what do you play? Here the threat is to play knight to e4 for check and mate. And you see here that the knight covers the d6 and c5 square, and the queen came to f7 to defend the bishop. Uh, let's go back to the game. So now that we see that we're threatening knight to e4 checkmate, here black went ahead and played bishop b6. It makes sense here. At this point, bishop b6 is really trying to block off the square and, well, also trying to make threats against the queen. Remember, whenever you're getting attacked, it's a good idea to make trades because, well, the less piece on the board, the better, right? And here, white can no longer go knight e4 check as this is just a wah wah and king takes on d5. So... Here, Morphe goes ahead and plays the best move. Bishop takes, knight takes, and now he's able to do a very nice king hunt game. For those of you who don't know what a king hunt is, a king hunt is basically when you drive your opponent's king to the center, and then you hunt them down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Knight to e4 check. King over to, e, uh, to d5. This is, uh, well, I guess one of the better moves you could play here. I mean, if you move your king anywhere else, which really is only one good square, king to c6, now you see the knight gets taken in check. So the idea of king to d5 is really just to try to hold on to this knight over here. But it's white to move, and already we are in a winning position here. What do you play now? The idea here was to win the knight, and the king is the defender, so let's kick it away. Let's go to play it. Pot over to c4, check. And here, well, black has nothing better than to go ahead and take the knight here on e4. I mean, yes, you could take the pawn, but after queen takes an e6 check, another piece in the center is going to be really bad for you. All right, here we go. Queen takes on e6. And here, black played queen to d4. An okay move here. The whole, the whole point is to try to use the, uh, the queen as a defensive piece. But here, well, it's just going to be white to move and checkmate. Here, black does not play the best defensive move, so the checkmate happens even faster than expected. Do you see the next move? Here he played. Queen to g4 check. Makes sense. The king was forced to go to d3. Let's keep hunting it down. Queen e2 check. The king went over to c2. D3 check, a nice discovery move over here. Here the game, the game could have gone on a little bit longer, but here black just jumps on the sword. Here he went ahead and took on C1. And now for the final move, can you find the best move here? White to move, what do you play to win? Hopefully you see it. How many times do you get to castle and get checkmate? Probably not too often over here. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this. This was a very nice game demonstrating the power of playing the fried liver attack. We'll see you in the next game. Mm-hmm. <laughs>